Consumer School has been a helpful tool to provide us with the digital skills we will need in the working world. Among us today, we have decision makers, corporate members, and the general audience. My role is really to try to give you an opportunity to make this as cool and as fun as possible. There is one thing we tell the kids whenever they join the school, and it's that they're allowed to do at the coding school whatever they're not allowed to do in a normal school. We ask ourselves, what will it take to get there? And the answer every day is the same. It's you. It's talent. It's investing in, in, in the likes of you who are taking STEM-related classes, science, technology, engineering, and math, so you all can build one day this spaceship that will take us to Mars. I'm also particularly proud of the partnership with the regulators, with members of parliament, and with the commission, because they have a role to play. You know, NGOs and business, we can partner all we want, and we, we're making a difference, but this needs to get scaled, it's clear. My congratulations to all of the students today who are participating in this event and who attended the coding school. You, you've really just shown leadership in your academic commitment by being here today. The fact that you're sitting in here as opposed to being outside says a lot about you because you're serious, you're thinking about your future, you're thinking about our future, and I commend you. I want to thank our host, Levo Wiernik from the European Parliament, and it's also good to be here with Ava Maydell. I know you've been a real advocate in the Parliament on Education and Technology, and thanks also to Andrea and the whole team at Think Young who are driving force behind the coding school of today's event. You know, EU Code Week is a fantastic initiative. I'm, I'm really happy that the United States mission of the European Union can get behind it with our support. The mission of the EU and Boeing helped Think Young make the summer coding school possible long before I showed up, but I'm glad we did, and I plan to continue that. Most of you in this room are too young to appreciate how much technology has changed our lives recently. But yes, I grew up in a world that did not have cell phones. That's why an education in STEM and coding is so important for students and young people today. It will give you the tools to succeed in the future, and just as importantly, it will give you the tools to chart the future and build new technologies that make our world stronger and safer. It gives us the opportunity to have a good idea and to execute it from anywhere we are with the skills uh, we have. And speaking of skills, I think um, you are not only ambassadors of, 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 of um, your own societies, communities, countries that you come from within the EU, uh, but also of um, one of the most important skills that we'll need for su success tomorrow, but which we actually need already uh, today. There is very good initiatives. I think we just need to give them a little bit more publicity. Everyone has good schools, right? Girls and boys, uh, regardless of economic background, we can reach everyone. And also there's a lot of teachers out there. Um, and uh, we think that if we can make them take part in Cold Week and do something fun for an hour or two, something easy, they won't be so scared about technology. I mean, it's not only about programming, it's about 3D printing, it's about critical thinking, computational thinking, problem solving, all these skills that we call the 21st century skills. Uh, and they also include soft skills like being able to communicate and work together. They are really important for all subjects. These things really give you the possibility to create something new and become kind of an entrepreneur. Which doesn't mean that you have to become an entrepreneur yourself. Entrepreneurship is not for everybody, but it's great. But even if you join a big company like Boeing and you have some kind of an entrepreneurial mindset, and, and you are able to create things. And coding gives you this total feeling of you're able to create something that doesn't exist. Thank you very much. When you have good teachers or good uh, online resources that I think are a bit hidden, even though they are there, you realize that anyone can code. And uh, it's all about perceptions and it's all in your head. Girls in Tech, it's just a question of um, being inspired and thank you Brian for inspiring girls 
and thank you Andrea for making this school happen as well. 70% of girls in the school and I can tell you they were incredibly imaginative. <laughs>